Hello everyone and welcome to this new video tutorial. In this video guys, I'm going to show you how you could solve the problem of the yellow triangle, the one which appears when you are trying to connect to your internet. So if you are trying to connect and you are getting this, this the yellow triangle or you are getting an identified network, no internet access or limited access, then this video tutorial is for you. So one of the things which we will have to do uh, we will need to go to the search tab and we will type control panel please note that this video can help you to solve this problem for windows 10 windows 7 and windows 8 once we are in the control panel we will click to open it if your control panel look or view doesn't look like the one which i have now on my screen then just change view by from small or large icon to icons to category so that you are able to follow the next step is going to be that I will click or will click on network and internet, network and sharing center. And here you will have your internet. So make sure that you are you are kind of connected, even though you don't have access, but just make sure that you are connected to your to your um, Wi-Fi so that you are able to edit it. So now we'll click on my Wi-Fi, even though it shows, as I said, no internet or no network access. I will click on it. We will go ahead and click on properties. And here we are going to look for Internet Protocol version 4 TCP slash IPv4. This is an Internet protocol and we will need just to perform some settings on it so that it goes back working. We will just go ahead and click properties. Please note that if you don't have this Internet protocol, you can go ahead and install it. If you don't, if you don't have it installed, you can go ahead and click install. I have it already installed and it's usually installed by default so most of the time you will not have to do anything you will just need to click on properties now what i'm going to do as you can see my ip address or the uh, the settings it says use the following ip address since it's not working i will just click obtain an ip address automatically obtain dns server address automatically and i will just click ok here as you can see i have again no internet access i'll just click ok i will click close and i will wait a few seconds we'll just click again close you might need to disconnect and reconnect again and sometimes you might not need and as you can see access type internet here i have the sign of wi-fi back and it shows my internet name and it shows internet access if this solution didn't work for you then just go ahead go back again click on properties you need just to click on your internet name or the connections name and we'll go again and select internet protocol version 4 properties and we will change from automatic IP address assigning to manual one you need just to follow exactly what I'm doing so I will just type 192 168 and I will type 1 and 1 again on the second line, when you go to the second line, it should appear automatically. It's 255.255.255.0. And on the default getaway, you will take your IP address and copy paste it as the same. 192.168.1.1. If you have multiple devices at home, let's say you have five computers at home and each one of them get connected to the internet so you might want to change in the IP address the last digit digit by the number 100 or by 10 let's say I will put 10 there in the default getaway you will have to keep the number one so you will have keep it as following in the default getaway 192.168.1.1 you don't change anything in this one next I'm going to use the following DNS server these parameters I by default you can search online and select the DNS server uh, address which suits you but for me I have tried this one and it's working very well for me I will put number 8 I will put again 8 I will go to the next one 8 and another 8 on the second line 8 8 4 4 so for the preferred DNS server 
I have selected 888 and for the alternate DNS server I have selected 8844. I will select again validate upon uh, validate, validate settings upon exit and we will click OK. What I did exactly I just I have just entered a static IP address which will allow me to connect to the internet. I will just click OK. I will click close and you will see that Windows Network Diagnostics it will be working and it should resolve any problem occurring with your internet. As you can see now my I have an identified network since I have been editing the IP address but if there are any additional issues Windows will be able to solve them. If this solution still didn't solve your problem then I have an additional thing which you can do. You just go back and click on properties. You open Internet v4, protocol version 4, properties. You select obtain an IP address automatically, obtain DNS server automatically, and you will click OK. And the next step, you will go to find Internet protocol v6. I have it here, Internet protocol version 6 TCP slash IPv6. I will just ticket to be selected and I will click on properties and here make sure that you have the following default settings which is obtain an IPv6 address automatically and obtain DNS server address automatically so make sure to select those two parameters to be automatically assigned and just click OK click close and then just click close and wait few seconds to up to three minutes and you will have again the access type back to the internet and you will have your internet working again very well. I hope this video tutorial was helpful to you guys. If you are still in need of help or assistance, you can always leave us a comment and we will do our best to help you. If you would like to encourage us to produce more video tutorials, you can always press like, share and also do not forget to subscribe to get our latest video. Thank you for watching and talk to you soon in a new video tutorial.